a bunch of motherfucking niggas came through to the um, sponsor aftermath stream. Now, I'm still getting this established as to what I want it to be, but we're basically just um, recapping stuff, talking about certain topics you guys want me to. I mean, I don't know. It, the sponsor thing is still very new. This is only number two, as you guys have seen from the title. So I don't really have an established format for it, but it'll just be, you know, we're not focused on entertaining. We're just focused on being chill, talking and whatnot. This, might, this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, which is why I'm excited at the idea of doing these because it really boils down to if you're here, then you like watching me for me, you know? You're not here to get some crazy-ass fucking suicide content. You're here to see your boy just be, me, you, you know, Etika. So on top of all that, we have the ability to now showcase explicit content on the um, notification feed. So therefore, I, I'm going to take full advantage of it. This video will also be deleted off of YouTube as soon as it's done... Um, being streamed just to avoid any copyright bullshit trust me i'm not trying to have none of that ass none of none of that asshole shit come up on my feed i'm, I'm just not trying to have my channel fucked up so the fbi after etika ends the stream what in the fuck man spawns what's up with y'all man um can we view non-safe for work stuff oh yeah definitely we can yo Ver verlissa is that the real verlissify i love my boy etika is this hold on a second is this verlissify Tell me my net bitch, I call it Velocify. <laughs> That's the real Velocify. Holy fuck, this nigga's here. All right, man. You, you, you're, you're fucking me up, bro. I, I, I didn't think that this would be uh, a situation I'd deal with, man. You, you remember, listen, man, Velocify, bro. I don't give a fuck if we're in front of the public, man. You remember last time when we were talking, I wasn't exactly a big fan. I mean, I, I to be honest, though, bro, I'll be real. He came from me, he came at me from a perspective of, hey, I will, I'm willing to be diplomatic and talk things out. I'm not being overly aggressive and hey, words are everything right now. So that I'll respect, you know. I still think that Relicify is somewhat of an asshole. He is. Definitely. I feel like Relicify, you are an asshole to an extent. But I, I will give you credit where credit is due that you are definitely an open-minded individual and i love the fact that you were just so ready to discuss stuff with us when we were in person so yeah love goes out to you for that velocify but i don't know man there's just been a lot of stuff i've seen from you and you know that's, that's the thing too velocify plays the underdog role which i feel is super cool like i i i i've kind of done so in the same way over the years but man oh man i feel like you've just been going out of your way to specifically stir up shit needlessly but that's just my perspective on the whole thing. Obviously, with sponsors, it's a little different talking about this shit. I can be, I can be more personal about shit, you know? I don't have to necessarily keep up a... Uh, it's not like I'm keeping up a facade whenever I stream with you guys, but to um, isolate myself from more personal issues, that's not necessarily a focus here. But then again, the stuff I post with the sponsors usually goes out to everybody anyways. Um, Young Joshu with $61. Fucking hell. You wanted this to get my attention. Hey, man, Spawn's love. I wanted to say thank you for getting me through some rough shit. My girl made it from the la from the U.S. last year. We both love you, man. We both love your stuff. And he sent me a YouTube link. So what, what are we looking at here, man? What kind of link is it? What? Huh? Hold on. Huh? Wow, I am so fucking predictable. I literally did the same exact dance that I did in the fucking donation video. Nigga blowing the damn. This is not a good time. <laughs> that shit is loud as fuck. Was, Joshua, you gonna piss everybody off? <laughs> Niggas are like, God damn it, I can turn this shit off. <laughs> hey, you know they want me to do that shit, right, man? You know, like, that pisses everybody off in the fucking chat, bro. They're like, nigga, we're not trying to hear you fucking read donations all day. We're trying to experience content, my nigga. Uh, uh, I, I, I feel you. Uh, Zuka TV, thank you very much for the sponsor, love, man. What's going on in the chat, bro? Freshy Jazz, hey, listen. Let's not be aggressive towards this nigga, Velocify. He's in. He's joined us today. I mean, it's not the first time. But whatever. Let's just be open-minded, man. Fuck it. We're all here just chilling, man. Um, Velocify says, I believe in every piece of content that I have ever made from EW Network. Uh, all right. So, so, so Veliss, man, 
You really want me to take up my grievances with you here right now? I listen, man. I I feel as if a lot of the content that you made in regards to people who hacked Pokemon in official tournaments, it's like, of course people hacked, you know, like it's not going to be a completely deviant thing. Like everyone's hacked. You've hacked, you know, it's don't, don't treat it as, as long as they hack legally. But then again, it's not my place to say I'm not a Pokemon player anymore. I don't fuck with Pokemon anymore. So my perspective on it is as long as it looks legal and it saves time, then why not? Literally the same amount of work that you do for a hacked Pokemon as a real Pokemon, in my opinion, can be done in a fraction of the time. Then it's like, hey, you can do a showdown. I know. And when you're playing the actual game, it's a little bit different. You should put in the effort that it takes in order to be able to make that fully perfect Pokemon. You know, I actually, I agree with that. But uh, I'm so conflicted because it's like I agree with the perspective of, oh, we're playing the official game. Don't hack it. But it's like in, in a tournament and all. But at the same time, the only thing that people really have as an official experience is the game. So I, whatever. I'm not going to go into details with it. I, don't, I, I, I really I fucking hate Pokemon now. I, I really I really don't give a flying fuck about Pokemon. So going into schematics here and talking details really doesn't matter to me. I'm not trying to sound condescending. It's just literally, I don't care. So uh, we have Fancy Zelda. I mean, if you want to share your opinions with me, you can. I'll be, I'm, more than, I'm more than open to see opinions. Um, Brandon Duke says, Labo. You want me to talk about this Nintendo Labo shit, bro? Oh, man, I don't know, bro. I, I really don't think this is going to be something that holds my attention for more than a week max. And I'm being extremely generous with that estimate. I, I, don't, I just don't understand how the Labo thing can be a long term. But maybe it can be. I don't know. What are we doing in this stream from Jose Ruiz? We're not really doing much, man. We're just we're just chilling, man. I'm talking to you guys. I'm checking out my Twitter notifications, no matter how explicit they may be. Uh, we, we we just came back from an actual, you know, mainstream type of thing. So, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm, I don't want to see that shit again. Clearly, dudes are insistent on pushing this Minecraft thing to the maximum. I'm still fixated from JP on the fact that you didn't recognize Helen Keller. Who is Helen Keller? Is this? I don't know who this is, bro. Sponsors, can you guys like explain to me? I'm confused. Kids break the Joy Cons, the Toy Cons. Yeah, man, it, I I can't see it lasting that long. Talk about Mario being on mobile. I really don't give a flying fuck. I care more about Nintendo's online service. Um, I can actually pull this up for you guys right now. Their online service being announced. Nintendo of America. They posted this earlier today. Uh, mentioning that, hey, we're going to be... Is it earlier today or yesterday? I don't know. I don't give a fuck. They posted it. And they were talking about how great it will be. You know, their, their online... Well, not how great it will be. But rather, this is yesterday. The online will launch on um, September 2018. Now, my thing is, is it really just going to be cut and dry what it is right now? for a fee nintendo don't you dare oh fonz thank you for the sponsor love man but nintendo for a second don't you even consider making the service you have right now paid it is garbage trash de it's, de it's deplorable whatever the fuck you guys truly have planned better be leagues better than what you're offering because if i'm paying you money for this service then it needs to be established the online play for all of your games besides fucking splatoon is trash i mean mario kart i mean it's good it's decent but it's not even on the level comparable to those of other consoles all i'm saying is you need to start spending some of that fucking money you have in the bank and make some actual established servers i sound like an entitled bitch i sound like some needy prick ass nigga who doesn't understand how fucking me 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 he sounds i i, I know what you're saying but we're paying for your service we are specifically giving you money for something that we expect to be decently playable. I mean, you've released a couple of third-party games which are kind of like fucked up. When it comes to this online service, it can't be the same. You have to make a way where we can ex we can experience online gameplay with our friends with a minuscule internet connection and have no latency 
um, internet connectivity problems or anything. I just really want that because the thing that I'm coming from with this is, of course, a personal perspective. I really tried to get into Street Fighter, um, Ultra Street Fighter 2 online with the Nintendo Switch, and I couldn't. It, it, it's just all the lag, the peer-to-peer bullshit that the Switch goes through. It, 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 it was too unbearable for me, and I couldn't play. Even though I, I feel like I have a really good Vega, but it was so dependent on the individual's internet connection, and that's a problem that is so magnified when you don't have servers in comparison to peer-to-peer. I, I, I couldn't deal with it, and now... The problem is that we have so many great games coming out for the Nintendo Switch, the Street Fighter Ultimate, whatever the fuck it is, the Ultimate Collection or whatever. This is coming out in what, like a month or two or three or whatever? And it's going to feature Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, one of the best fighting games ever created in the history of games in general. And it's going to have online modes. You mean to tell me that there's going to be laggy bullshit when playing online on the Switch version of this thing unacceptable you need to establish some servers nintendo you have billions in the bank please do us the gamers a solid please and establish a way for us to play with each other smoothly who knows maybe this doesn't get enough attention for you to spend some of those billions you have in the bank maybe a couple of thousands playing street fighter the third strike is like ah whatever they don't really care peer to peer it'll work well enough And the sad part is, I feel like they're going to go with that mentality. They're just so unwilling to invest in their actual player bases when it comes to their competitive community, establishing battle points. It's so sad. I I really wish they would take this shit seriously. But whatever. I don't know, man. I I, I just can't say for a fact. I really wish they would. If Nintendo invested in servers for their games, the thing is, maybe it wouldn't make them a bunch of profit right away off top. But what it would do is increase the um the bond between them and their player base people would say you know what they really are investing they're going all in i gotta show respect to nintendo and it it would just establish that relationship that deep connection between them because the players would know they have my best interest at hand they're trying to see you know no no bullshit online and that would be great already we know nintendo doesn't really care to fucking fine tune or cherry pick all these games because they had fucking wwe come out which was one of the most unplayable experiences in the history of fucking nintendo that game is fucking horrible on the nintendo switch it's embarrassing that it even exists and i'm glad that they had taken it down from the fucking eShop or whatever. I, it, it's so bad, man. Uh, plebs get more attention than spot. My bad. I went on a fucking rant. I, I shouldn't have. It wasn't fitting, but my bad, you guys. Um, let's continue. My bad. This is a sponsor stream. Etika won't read this comment from Super Eliza Drop. Yeah, I, I, I'm just going off right now. Yushibu says, what are you even talking about? Yushibu, what, what are you saying? What's, Velicify called you out, bro. He says, Velicify, don't spam and change your words slightly. I don't care if this nigga spams, bro. Velicify can spam as much as he wants. Um, are you going to play Dragon Ball Fighter Z again or Monster Hunter World on stream? I played Dragon Ball Fighter Z on camera. Fighter Z, fighters, I don't I don't give a fuck how you pronounce it, man. Clearly, they put that Z big as fuck, pronounced as fuck. I'm going to call it Fighter Z, but I've been playing it off camera. I, 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 I kind of like it. it it's, it's okay in my book, but, you know, it's not my cup of tea. Um, not ignored. The rigor, the nigger ragu was all over the place. Um, it's a lot of Fs. What's going on? What's going on in the sponge chat, man? What y'all guys got to say? Um, look up how to pronounce my name. You and how fucked you did it. Joaquin? Joaquin? Is that how you say it? Um, I'm going to, I'm going to search your shit right now, bro. How do I pronounce this nigga's name? Joaquin? What the fuck? Is this a French name, my nigga? Who the fuck is this nigga? I don't think that's you, my boy. I'm going to trust that's not you, but look up how to pronounce I'm going to say Joaquin, <laughs> all right? It sounds kind of fancy. Um, Haskell, what's going on, bro? Um, Uncensored Mithra, my dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll show you guys real quick. Um, Velicify messaged me, too. Hold on a second. Where's that Uncensored Mithra? I got it right here. I'm not going to, uh, uh, I don't know if I should, it's so explicit. It's like so straightforward. I, all right. As soon as I show this, I have 30 minutes to continue the stream, but I mean, yeah, this is the uncensored Mithra right here. I might, I might, this might be my channel getting fucked up. This might be my channel getting fucked up, but just screen cap this shit. All right. Screen cap it. 
Screen cap it, and that's it, all right? You see it? Uncensored. Boom. All right. It's done. <laughs> I can't show much more, man. Like, it, it's 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 legit just a, a matter of me trying to make sure my shit doesn't get shut down. But yeah, sponsors, y'all motherfuckers get access to it. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> it was um, Mario's getting a movie. I, I mentioned earlier in the stream, I don't care. And even till now, I really don't care. I, I, I'm not a Mario fan. I prefer Wario games, man. Um, you were staring. Rich Brian. <laughs> yeah, I, that, that shit is good. Right? The poo. Mithras donation came through at the worst timing because I just shown the fucking, the, the, I shown the uncensored version. The stream's going down as soon as I finish this. But Young Joshi saying, I'm sorry about the donation a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry that the donation amounts are a little bit off too. It's all in CAD, Canadian. Here's some USD, though. I'm sorry for the pervert meme, if it comes up as that. I just wanted to get close to a hano. Rich, wish you the best. Hey, listen, man, Joshua, thank you so much. I I, I know I made... Wait, hold on a second. What? A lo Logan Paul went skydiving and his parachute didn't open. This cannot be real. No fucking way. What? What? Here's a photo of my empty backpack. I had to cut away my main parachute, but it didn't open. I can tell you, the feeling of the blue reserve parachute opening and functioning properly was miraculous. This never happened to another student before at the school. Logan Paul lives on. Ah, oh, god damn it! <laughs> I'm joking. I don't want Logan Paul to actually die. It's a meme. But... The nigga literally almost lost his life thanks to a faulty parachute. This happened while we were streaming. How fucked up is that? Nigga making jokes about suicide. He was about to wind up as a fucking parachute pack himself. You know what, Logan? I think you should have a newfound appreciation for life, because fuck. But then again, it seems like he's gone on a forgiveness campaign, trying to right the wrongs he did with that whole dead body thing. All I can say is, Logan... You have a lot to account for because a lot of people look at you as a representative of all YouTubers. And, man, we did not get any brownie points from what you had done that day. So go ahead, man. Continue that fucking campaign. I'm glad you fixed that fucking wild-ass hair to be a more conservative, clean cut. Man, uh, <laughs> you got a lot to make up for, Logue, but... The Switch sold more than the Wii U? Yeah, man, I've seen it, bro. People knew it was going to happen, but to see it actually go down, the Nintendo Switch completely beating out the Wii U, which had been out for years ahead of time, that's props, that's work, that's... I, I can't lie, man, Nintendo be going in, bro. This Nintendo Switch shit is crazy. All I can say, I love this console. This is my favorite console in terms of video games ever created. Granted, it's a little bit early, premature to say something like that, but man, it, to be able to play a full console experience wherever the fuck I am, it's undeniably a, an experience that I cannot get from anywhere but Nintendo. Any other games that come on this will be twice as valuable. They're not portable games. They're not home console games. They are both. But I'm saying the obvious. Clearly, you all know this. If you're not a Nintendo fan, this won't make any sense to you until you pick up that Switch. All right, boys? What's going on in the sponsor chat? Joaquin is, is pronounced Joaquin. You must be tired. Joaquin? Really? Yeah, I'm tired as fuck, bro. It's late as hell. It's currently 2.32 a.m. on the East Coast. Uh, my brother's days... He. This is coming from Ivanite. Um, my brother's days, he's getting me a Switch... My brother says that he's getting me a switch soon with his Bitcoin money. Well, he better act soon. That same Bitcoin money he's about to spend might be worth not a Nintendo Switch, but a Nintendo Switch game, or worse, a Nintendo Switch accessory in the next few days. Tell that nigga to take some action, bro. It might be a problem. Heavenly Controller, what's up, man? I had to compete my latest video from Thailand the Creator. Thailand the Creator, is that your name on the Is this your um, YouTube channel, my boy? What's your video? We're just chilling, bro. Three years ago, nigga, fuck that. I don't know if that is your video or not, but I hope it wasn't. I'm going to presume that it wasn't. If it was, then my bad. <laughs> I'll watch it. Hey, Etika, man, I'm a new sponsor. Immortalize me in spirit with your um, with your penis, with your asthma voice, baby. Oh, listen, man, what's going on to... Um, what's this nigga's name? Your, your name is Z-J-O-N Rum... Z Zon Rum McCrum 
are you fucking serious? You sponsor me and you have a name like that? I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm confused. Arshok saying, I'm thinking of starting a YouTube channel myself for fun, I guess. Do you have any tips? Well, considering that I, I'm somewhat established, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but a lot of people ask me this question, so I've answered it plenty of times. He He's asking me for um, my boy. Did you get the flamethrower Elon Musk was selling? Give me a second on that one. He's asking me, yo, my man, peep my Twitter feed. Okay, hold on a second. Reversal is in. Wait, where's reversal? Reversal is really? Yo, my boy, reversal is in this bitch. Hold on, what's going on, bro? That's my nigga right there. Shout out to you, reversal. Thanks for coming through, man. It's cool to see the homies in this bitch. Clearly, he's on a... He, he, listen, reversal, man. I, you know, I'm being real when I say, like, you got to take care of me when I come over there, bro. I'm trying to get fucked up. I'm trying to make it so I don't leave. Where the fuck are you from, Denmark? I, I don't know where the fuck this nigga's from. He's from somewhere in Europe. That's all I know. Europe has a big place. There's a lot of different countries and whatnot. I, um, reversal. You got you to gotta inform me, bro. I'm, the, I'm, about to, I'm about to just book a flight straight up. I don't give a fuck, nigga. If I can get fucked up, there's parties, there's nice people over there, and, you know, dancing, drinks, women, you know, motherfucking... Nether the Netherlands! Hold on a second. Reversal, bro. Don't care tell me you from the Netherlands. Please be getting... Bro, I heard that that place, in terms of, like, you know, ex extracurriculars... They go all in and beyond. My God, Nintendo Labo is the next-gen sex machine. You can now fuck a switch or make a vibrator. You need to consider the possibilities. Nintendo Labo will let you make your own custom toys? This is a topic for the stream. The regular stream, not the sponsor stream. This is crazy. What? Whoa! Custom toys. So if I have a bunch of cardboard... Dog, didn't earlier in the stream I mentioned, wow, Labo, you can make a sex doll and actually have it work with the string and the attachments and whatnot. I did not realize that could be actually real reality. I didn't predict this, dogs. Polygon, when did you post this? Um, thank you very much to a guy who... What the fuck? You do not look of legal age. Then again, I don't look like I'm legal age either. Fuck my life. But hey, whatever. I'm going to trust that you're of legal age to so drink that Smirnoff that you got at your mouth, bro. You're looking like a Joy-Con boy right now, all right? Don't, don't take no more liquor. But hold on. Polygon, what's up? Polygon, what's up? Is this legitimately a thing? Is this... Hold on a second. What's Polygon got to say? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. What, what, what's going on here? Um, this is hours ago. Oh, okay. This is actually um, 12. It'll let you make your own custom toys. And this got a pretty good amount of retention. It says, I can build an AK-47 and shoot up a... <laughs> Come on, bro. You, you could be a little bit more tasteful with the joke, but whatever. Wallet depleted. You're telling me I can make my own custom Labo dildo and fleshlight. How embarrassing is it that even in communities which aren't mine, that there are people who go to the extreme with perverted nature on Nintendo products? Dude didn't even waste nothing. No, he didn't waste a single fucking second. He said straight up a dildo and fleshlight Nintendo Labo branded. And you got Reggie talking about what's wrong with you kind of fits the theme of the thumbnail that I made earlier, guys. You know, you know, the one that was for the prior stream, this fucking chill stream thumbnail. Reggie's like, what in the fuck is wrong with you goddamn heathens? You dudes are fucking demented, man. Like, I, I, hey, Reggie, man, I, I ain't telling a lie, bro. There's a problem with all of us, man. There's definitely something wrong here. That's impressive, though. I don't know. I mean, how deep will that customization let us get? Now, let me continue reading the chat here. I always get caught up in topics. Sponsors, what y'all got to say? Um, Etika, my first account called Jason Delvanio. I always want to pronounce those names fancy. My first account is called Jason Lovano. Uh, I sponsored and no one can see my comment, so I had to sponsor here. Can someone unban me? I don't know what I did wrong. That's the thing, man. When it comes to no moderation, I have no control as to who bans what, who does what. 
Sponsors can literally ban whatever the fuck they want, which is why I was trying to get rid of all sponsors and just have everything unmoderated. But maybe sometimes people hold a grudge. Um, uh, let me see here, man. Jason, just let me know if you really want me to go and unban you, and I'll try to see if I can go in there. Fuck this nigga, Rexla. Have you finished the Doom campaign yet? I'm near the end, and it's so good so far. I didn't get to finish it, bro. I really had wanted to. It's just getting caught up with real life shit and all that. But I, I do want to play it eventually. Hoping Valentine's Day goes a little bit of something like this. We got some, uh, some nigga out here. All right. Boy's got a fucking pig in his bed. Is that nigga dead or what? He's got a sausage in his mouth and uh, the brass is thing with a bunch of people standing and a little motherfucker looking at a big ass motherfucker. All right, that's fucking explicit. I get the joke, bro. I got a couple of DMs popping in. Well, one DM. Um, Heavenly Controller says, fix them crusty lips, boy. I gotta. Listen, bro, my shit has been dry for the whole night, bro. I had to. Listen, I don't give a fuck, man. Y'all don't care. Y'all ain't gonna, y'all ain't gonna snitch on me. Rich. Rich Brian's new song? We're talking about Rich Jigs? Hold on a second. I got I gotta check him out. Wait, did I did I pin his new song? No, this is a suicide force thing from Logan Paul. Alright, let me see here. Rich. Let me see here. I'm gonna I'm about to give this a song review right now, alright? Rich Chiggs. I don't see you going like that. You must be that I'm Hey, thinking about the times when you came over to my house. Amen. All right, let's see. Wait, this isn't a song, or is it? This dude is so young. In the day, I ain't even had the goddamn bill on your pill. Every day, I just be sipping chamomile. Mass appeal. Everybody show up because they know I'm here. Every week, I be on the face. She think it's out of Yo, Chigs. The song comes out on the 2nd of February. Wow, that sounded crazy. And he had a pre order link 2218. Jesus. Well, today's the day. God damn, nigga. That sounded kind of dope. Listen, but Chigga, he's established. We already know this nigga has rhymes on deck, man. This boy got a flow to him. I don't know. It, 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 it's not surprising to me. It's Chigs, baby. I don't. This nigga... Hold on a second. Um, Pete, my Twitter. Tomorrow, nigga. Bro, today, you mean. Uh, at least on the East Coast, it's today. Would you rather take one dick ten times? Wait, hold on. This is a deep question right here. It's that like we're gonna we're gonna have to really put our mind processes to the test on this one. I read, can we take one dick ten times? All right, so let me see here. Would you rather take one dick ten times or ten dicks one time? Well, we're not talking about varying dick sizes, right? I'm. I, if we're taking one dick ten times, is there no difference? They could all be the same size dick, right? One way or another, ten dicks one time would be the same. It's ten dicks. I'm getting fucked ten times. So there's no difference in the answer. Therefore, I'm going to say it is irrelevant what the choice is. We're going to get fucked ten times, all right? I, I don't know. Is that the correct answer? STDs, just take the one. Or one dick ten times. Or ten dicks one time. Oh, oh. This means that we could potentially have it so all the dicks fuck us and in one interval. But are you saying that the one dick that fucks us ten times could be over the course of like a week or so? Or maybe like a month or a few months? If it came down to it, I would want to get fucked only one time with multiple dicks rather than multiple times with one dick. If I'm going to get fucked, bro, if I have no choice in the matter and it has to happen and I have no way of, like, stopping it, then, yeah, fuck me 10 times over at once with 10 dicks rather than 
multiple times over with one dick. Because every time I have to fuck that one dick, it's going to, like, replay in my head again. It's going to, like, fuck with me, you know? Oh, next month. Hey, 10 months over. Hey, you got to fuck the dick this month. Are you ready? No. If it's going to happen, fuck it. I'll take all 10 at once. This is a very suggestive question. I don't know why you asked me this, but you got your answer right there. I'm not going to deal with having to fuck a dick every fucking month. No. If I if, if I can't avoid it like your question is um, alluding to, then, yeah. Ten dicks at once. <laughs> Fucking Christ, man! This is this you know this is this really the stuff that you sponsor niggas want to talk about? Um, about a Mario video. That's why I did. Etika, you went to the wrong channel. Look up evolu- Look up evolution of Etika. I don't feel like looking up memes about myself, man. I see that shit all the fucking time. It, it kind of gets old a little bit to me. I just got swerved. Hold on, by you, my guy. Look at this at on Twitter. Okay, well you know what? Let me take a look at it. What was what is this at? What's this at gotta say? Um, all right, I'm reading a bunch of stuff. Uh, uh, I'm losing interest, bro. Is there something here? I'm seeing a bunch of shit posts. Coolest c- kid in the clan. Nice. That's actually pretty funny. But I, I, I don't see anything that's relating to me here, bro. I don't know. Is it truly relevant, or are you just trying to like shit post it? Xenoblade 2, please. Hey, hold on, listen, man. I, my, I have this picture saved on my computer. I got a bunch of fucking Mithra pictures saved on my computer. I'm doing a bunch of side quests on um, the game right now, so I will be streaming just a little bit of the story progress later on. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but yeah, I got I got that shit saved up. Please do Pyra or Nia next. <laughs> Your boy might have commissioned it for one of those characters. But, uh, okay, let me continue. I got this image saved up, too. I got a bunch of fucking Mithra saved up on my computer, bro. Don't test me. Nigga, I got the whole shebang. Nigga, the ten times are one after the other. Oh, my God. And there's that for it, like, an hour afterwards. Um, Playboy Fredo saying, Etika, this shit is crazy. The white persona thing is crazy. An actual woman died recently, and it's very similar to what the video was saying. The white persona thing is crazy. What are you talking about, Playboy? I don't know if I remember something like that. Or maybe my memory's fucked up. Um, Graffiti. Thank you for the spawns, love, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, now, we have a comment coming in from Bechtel TV saying, would you rather have a nipple dick or dick nipples? Fuck. Uh, I gotta say... Uh, Dick nipples, because I can keep a shirt on and hide them if I need to. And who knows? Maybe if I get close enough with the girl that I'm fucking, maybe she'll understand, oh, you have dick nipples. Okay, I'm willing to work with that. But if I have a nipple dick, it's game over for me, bro. I can't, I, who's gonna, what are you gonna be able to do? That doesn't get hard enough to actually plow a chick. You can't, you literally, like, listen, ladies, I don't know how many girls are watching me right now. Fellas, I don't know if you really believe what I'm about to say, but I'm gonna tell you. And when it comes to sexual intercourse, every single girl that I've had sex with up to this moment, and I've had sex with a couple of girls, every girl wants to get fucked. Like, it, it, it's it's insane. Just like every male wants to fuck, every man wants to fuck, every woman wants to get fucked. And it's like, you can't do that with a fucking dick replaced with a nipple. You have to have a hard, solid, reliable penis to accurately fuck a woman to the degree that she desires. It, it, it's a thing, you know? A lot of women just like it hard and fast. That's the way it is. I'm not trying to gas you guys. I'm not trying to make it seem as if, you know, there's only one way to approach it. But a majority, all the women that I've met, and who knows, maybe the women that I've met are a minority in terms of the women that exist. That could very well be the case. But they like getting slammed hard. You have to make sure that it doesn't matter how big your, your fucking hardware is. It's whatever. Your hardware is irrelevant. All you have to make sure you can do is last long. Make sure you do cardio. Get your running up. Get your breathing right. Get your your your, your mental capacity in check. Make sure that you have the physical endurance to endure a good 20 to 30 minutes worth of hardcore pounding. Because that's what ladies like. It's it's just a natural... I, 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 from what I've seen, it may be a lot of, you know, it, and it varies. Sometimes a lady might say, oh, I, I want it 
I want it gentle and soft this time. But a lot of the time, girls want to be... And, and, and you and, and hey, it, it's just the way it is, bro. You gotta make sure you're ready to plow. All right, so get yourself in check. I've seen plenty of well, I haven't seen, but you know, I've heard stories of plenty of husky guys who were able to get their 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 um work in check. Get your work in check, bro. Make sure you're able to deliver, man. At least from what I've seen. Nah, man, girls are fucking fiends and have just as high of a sex drive as men. Oh, man, of course, bro. Like, we're all human beings at the end of the day, you know? It's not even like a matter of, oh, women and men are different in that degree. It's sexual desire. Clearly speaking, uh, we all have the same exact amount. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any reproduction or it wouldn't be any, like, it, we, we, we all desire sex. We all like it. It's a human need. Fuck a want. You need sexual encounters in order to be able to survive mentally sustainable as a human being. That's just the way it be. So you, you got to make sure you're ready for it. Cardio, boys. Cardio. I didn't do cardio at one point, and I knew what my performance was at that point. After doing cardio, I can tell you my performance, even with just a little bit of cardio, a little bit of bike riding. I'll tell you one thing right now, boys. <laughs> Listen. This is my bike right here. This is called a Brompton, complete titanium bike, about 25 pounds, give or take. This thing folds up to the size of a small suitcase. You take this, you ride on it a little bit. Bro, riding on this bike maybe for like a good month. But it's Valentine's Day. I don't have anybody to actually use my techniques on. So, hey, you know what? It's all good. <laughs> I'm joking about it. But, hey, just get a little cardio. Even regardless of whether it be for the pleasure of someone else or just for yourself, it's always good to make sure that you maintain your physical stature, stature in order to, you know, remain healthy. That's a big focus right there. So definitely um, consider yourself, not just, you know, the sex. Um, is it Singles Awareness Day? Well, it's Single Awareness Month, bro. <laughs> if you're single, that is. A lot of you guys, congratulations on your relationship reaching this point. Um, good luck to you in terms of uh, finding a gift to give to your spouse. It's always a difficult one for me. But, um, yeah, people are saying, share me your fucking Mithra carpet files, please. Nah, I'm not going to share that shit, bro. Hold on a second. This is a throwback right here. We were going back to the Phoenix Fright shit. I forgot her name. It's been years since I've seen this chick. But I'm not going to spoil the obvious. Listen, I could spoil something right now that'll fucking fuck with you guys. But I'm not going to do so because it's, it was funny as hell to discover that spoiler in the game. So whatever. Oh, she, I'll say she's a very attractive clown, you know? Not on some um, Pennywise shit. Not on some Bozo the Clown shit. She, she, she's pretty funny. Um, in terms of people don't give enough credit for the iPhone X, it's like you're holding nothing but screen. Wow, and you showed the Logan Paul suicide video, my guy? It's a guy? Yeah, sure, it's a guy. <laughs> um, hold on a second, man. What's up with the sponsor chat, bro? Have you heard the song I made for you, my dude? Sleek. Uh, let me see that link, bro. Hold on a second. My man in reversal says, yo, fuck Valentine's Day. Um, it's just commercialized bogus. You're damn right, bro. Everything in America is commercialized as hell. Uh, you want to smash all year, not just one day. You're damn right. Listen, man, like I said, sex is a fundamental for every single person on this planet, bro. We all want to have good sex. We just got to find the right person to do it with. Or maybe find the right people to do it with, you know? Hey, hey listen, man, we all got our different strokes for different folks. It's whatever. As long as you find something that you can poke. <laughs> uh, nigga, Etika, Papa just asked you. Papa, Papa just asked you out. What are you going to say? Papa Dog Sucker just asked me out? Bro, hold on a second. Did he just confess? Yo, Etika. Do you want to date so we can't be lonely? Papa dog, that's so fucking sweet, man. Thank you. Man, that's a very nice comment. That's probably the nicest, most generous, kind-hearted comment that I've ever seen from you, Papa dog sucker. Thank you, man. But um, I, I don't know if I want to date a troll who consistently wiles out in my streams, man. I, I, it doesn't seem fitting to me, but Papa dog, I appreciate that. You know what, man? Maybe we can e-date maybe we can eat date maybe we can eat date I, I i'd be down hey listen man papa dog do you do you, do you possess a vagina that that seems like a kind of a materialistic desire to have but i i am an african-american male who 
I'm going. I think American male don't mean shit. I, I, I'm a nigga. <laughs> I, I, I need pool. I need Papa Dog. Do you have a pool? If not, maybe get an operation so you can get a pool, and then we can. T- <laughs> I'm playing. Um. Anyways. Yo, you want a yandere? I, I, I don't mind, bro. I, I take them all, man. I take them all. I, I take all girls. <laughs> Listen, man. Smell, taste, touch, man. I love them so much. <laughs> it's a damn shame that I lost this much. Hey. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Um, Sayori is the best waifu. Papa doesn't need to answer this. He definitely has a vagina, really. Uh, Etika, what do you think about Patty Cosplay? And also, who are you crushing on, Patty Cosplay? Patty Cosplay, bro? I'm following her. I, I literally am following the exact girl this nigga mentioned. She is honestly one of the most attractive girls on the outside that I've ever laid eyes upon. But that doesn't really mean much because clearly there's plenty of attractive people. And trust me, I've been there. Plenty of attractive people who in reality have a lot of shit going on. And I'm not trying to pass judgment upon those people. But what I'm what I'm saying is that currently speaking, I'm of sound mind and soul and emotion. Therefore, I want to I want to, you know, talk to someone who is on somewhat equal terms. I mean, I, a lot of people are going through stuff in their lives, and I truly do wish them the, I've gone through plenty of things before. I've had a counselor before help me through issues and all that, and it really is beneficial. But at this point in my life, I truly do feel as if I really want to experience life with someone who is also on the same wavelength, progressive, um, engaging, moving forward, established, goal-oriented, power user. I, 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 I would love to, you know, just... Pick the mind of someone like that. I have a bad tendency of just picking the minds of the people that I'm with, man. So, hey, that's just me. What do you guys have to say about this? Felicify says, didn't even hesitate on saying attractive on the outside. Bro, you know, I mean, obviously, they got to look good, too. I mean, Patty Cosby, listen, nigga, she look good, bro. Listen, bro. Felicify, take my nippers, I'm good, Felicify. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm, I'm playing. But yeah, Patty Cosplay, man, I definitely follow her. She she makes amazing work. She she she's nice on the eyeballs, man. Definitely. I mean, I I would love to go to Japan at one point. Who knows? Maybe if I see her in Japan, bro, I catch it. <laughs> Maybe I catch it. I gotta play this. I gotta play this motherfucking Japanese. I gotta play this shit again, bro. This shit had me laughing, man. But it's a good song. Hold on a second. Play that shit. Play that motherfucking shit, man. But yeah, Patty Cosplay, definitely. What, what are some cosplayers that you guys know of that you want to share with me, man? Because there's a, there's a couple of them. Definitely a couple. Um, are you going to Anime Expo from Super Lisa Drop? Anime Expo, I don't know. I When is that shit? Let me, let me look it up real quick. Anime Expo. NYC? Whoa. It's in my city. That is uh, 2018's tickets on sale now. This is when? The Javits? Okay. November 7th. Okay, so it's really late this year. I'll go. I think I went to the one that was... Wait, I went to the one that was this year. And I was at the party, and I was wilding out with a bunch of people. It was a great time, man. But, um... Yeah, I'm definitely going to be at the one for 2018. So if you guys really want to meet me, then here's all the info right there. I'll be there 100%, dog. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a meetup. Who knows? Um, right now, I'm actually curious. What's up with my social blade? Because who knows? Maybe for a million subscribers special, I'll do something like, you know, oh, yeah, meet up at Anime Expo. We have 596,000, so that's cool, man. We'll see what happens. But I'm definitely going to go to this thing. And I don't have to book a hotel room or anything because I fucking live here. So it works out pretty damn well. Um, let me see here. What is the... the oh, oh, nigga posted a fucking penis in the dance bond stream. Yeah, real funny, man. Uh, hold on a second. Etika, Anime NYC was lit. Yo, God of Green HX knows what I'm... You know what I'm talking about. God, I almost... Listen, he's one of the most consistent, persistent fan... Well, I, I don't want to call you a fan. You're a viewer. You're a hardcore viewer who's been here from the old days. He's been here. Nigga has been with the lifestyle. He's been living this shit. And he's in the chat right now. Talk to him. If you want to truly know what it's like to wild out with your boy, well, your boy, on, 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 on a fucking convention, man. I was, I lost my mind. 
God Arena. I don't even... I, listen, here's the problem. I don't even fucking remember that much of the night. The last thing that I remember is me dancing on a strip per pole. I was spinning around on that bitch, and I was wilding out. And at one point, I grabbed a girl, and I just fucking made out with her. I don't remember who the girl was. I, it was just, like, some cute girl. And I, she made out with me. She, she did it. I was just making out with her for, like, a good two... I don't remember how long it was, man. But I was making out with some girl at Anime Expo in New York City, 2017. And then I... Cause, all the friends that I invited, they kept moving off. Look, God of Green Chicks, I didn't know what the fuck you were. My friend Jackie, I didn't know who she was. Fuck it. All these people that I invited out to this event vanished on me. So I felt like I was by myself. So I, I, this is one girl who was just like dancing. She was dancing with me the whole night. So I was like, hey, come here. And we, mm, first few seconds, and bam. I think a kiss is harmless. A kiss is harmless. But anyway, it was fun. It was really, really fun, Green. We got to go through. Dude, I wish I could remember half of the shit that happened. Yo, Green, once you got hit... Listen, I hit this nigga God of Green HX. I hit him with the motherfucking bullet bourbon. Bro, once I once I pulled out the written house, I put the written house on the table. I didn't do it. The, the bartender did. She was really nice, too. Why are all bartenders so cute? She came through, and she was like, um, what drink do you want? And I was like, let me get that written house. And she said, ooh, you sure? And I was like, yeah. I paid for everyone's drinks. Um, Green paid for a round two. I think he paid for multiple rounds. And I had all the drinks there. And I was like, you know what? Listen, everybody come through. I had like 20. Well, maybe not 20. Maybe I had like 11 shots there. And I pulled the whole group through. And I was like, here, one for you, 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 and you. Nigga, as a matter of fact, I can pull up the actual Twitter, the, the Facebook post. I can pull up the Facebook post real quick. Let me make sure I don't show anything specific. But that shit was fucking nuts, man. Because people were telling me about it. I didn't remember a thing. I was so confused. People came up to me after like, yo, Etika, man, that thing you did last night was insane. I was like, what thing? And they said, blah, 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 with the blah, blah, blah. And I was like, when did I do blah, blah, blah? And they were like, you did do it, though. And I was like, huh? Excuse me? I didn't remember a damn thing, man. Hold on a second. For example, this is on my this is my, my Facebook page, my personal Facebook page. I'll show you guys this real quick. This nigga Desmond Etika Amofa gave me a shot of some next shit, and my whole night was bugged. This is coming in from one of my friends, Francis. She's really, really cool. She actually does cosplay on her own, so I'll give her a little shot, uh, a shout out in this sponsor stream, man. She makes some really good shit. She's she, she got a nice look to her, too, man. So shout out to um, Francis, my friend who I met there at the... Um, well, I didn't meet her there, but you know I knew her from before, but she had posted, and she was like, yo, nigga, what the fuck was in that drink? All I can tell you is, boy... I know me, my liquor, bro. If I want to get niggas fucked up right away, I have a special thing I can ask for where it's like, oh, you want people to get drunk instantaneously? We got that. And trust me, what they be drinking is not this. If I was truly drinking the same stuff that I use to get whole parties of people drunk at clubs, bars, lounges, etc., it's way different than this. If I took shots of that shit on stream, bro, I would be dead. Um, I got this. Yo, yo, Green got I, I fucked this nigga up. I fucked up everybody at that party. They were like, oh. <laughs> like, I, I always reference that meme where the black dude's like, oh. <laughs> nigga, that was me. I, that was everybody, bro. Confirm, Etika put something in the drinks. Yeah. Yeah, ha, 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 Etika hit that with the roofie. Etika, Etika Cosby Network. Yeah, real fucking funny, my guy. That's a good one. How long did it take you to think of that one? Really? <laughs> I'm having a giggle. Etika Cosby Network confirmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you never mentioned your fucking Valentine's crush, bitch nigga. I never mentioned my Valentine's crush, did I? All right, well, you know what? I I, I guess I'll do it. I, I, I guess I'll do it. I mean, I kind of mentioned it earlier. I really like Chandler Alexis a lot. She's a cool YouTuber. I think she has like a very mature outlook on life cool personality but you know that's just like a crush i don't know um damn when it comes to like who i'm actually really crushing on i haven't really thought of too many that's the thing dogs i'm on some papyrus shit from undertale right now my standards are fucking high i, I i've talked to a lot of girls and it, it's like i'm not looking for no wifey or whatever i obviously not but you know i'm just over somebody but it's just i'm so like uh it takes a lot to pull me away from my own stance. I'm so single-minded and, you know, 
one track kind of personality and so tunnel visioned. I usually am focused on my work entirely and it takes something extremely special to pull me out. The girl that I bought this for was very special to me and it's a shame that she played with my heart the way she did. But yes, she was a girl that I actually went out of my lane for completely to talk to. But clearly she didn't feel the same way about me, so I'm not going to dwell on that. But, you know, it happens. Just got to be diligent and keep moving forward. But, yeah, I'm not going to explain who that girl was or talk about her. All I can tell you is that I bought that chick some Undertale, all right? But... Slide in the DMs on stream, my boy. You want me to open up the DMs? Listen, Weapon Talks, man. Where's Great Paladin? I haven't seen this nigga all night. Um, do you have any good recommendations for penis enlargement pills? I can't say penis enlargement. I can say that um, Horny Goat Weed and... Um, what's the name of it? Horny Goat Weed and Cialis work well to give you, like, endurance. You know, like, if you really, really need it and it's last resort... Yeah, Cialis, some horny goat weed. I mean, I don't use I don't use it a bunch because obviously I'm not actively having sex since I'm you know single. But hey, it helps out a lot in the last minute sort of sense. I used it like a like one or two times. No, no, like two or three times. I think it was like three times I used it. And it was like whoa. <laughs> um, but it, it, it has like a little awkward feeling to it too, so you shouldn't rely on it entirely. Um, next gaming stream estimate. I can't say, Rose. I'm sorry, man. I, I really don't fucking know. It it depends entirely on what I feel like. Etika, are you going to be at Anime Expo in um, LA, not NYC? Well, when is that? I'm going to be... I'll tell you guys what I'm planning. Now, I don't know how many of you guys are from Chicago. Clearly, there's not that many viewers in here since this is a sponsor stream. So what I'm doing right now is only seen to like maybe what? Like 800 people or whatnot? How many people are in here? 960... Yeah, 800 people. So... I'm going to be at um, Chicago from February 10th until the 16th. I'm going to be in Chicago hanging out with Corban Armani 456. And we're just going to spend some time to, you know, catch up, you know, deepen our bonds and wild out, you know, have a bunch of fun. Uh, at that point, I'll be willing to meet up with anybody who's in Chicago um, to have some, you know, have a good time. And then from Chicago, I'm going to be heading to Seattle on February 18th to celebrate my dude John Carlo Paramango's wedding with Katie Paramango. So with those things in consideration, I don't know how many of you guys are in those areas, but February 10th to 16th, I'll be in Chicago. And from the 18th until the maybe 26th, I'll be in Seattle. I don't know how many of you guys are going to be there, but sad boys. I really enjoyed the stream, dude. Oh, Rose County. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. I'm going to focus on maybe not. I I really have to get myself set up for the emotional intensity because that whole thing with the suicide kind of really fucked with me, man. I, I it, it kind of threw me off. I And I have to make sure that those things don't bother me as much because I really don't want the stream integrity to be infected by it. But, you know, we streamed for a little while anyways, and I just felt so gone from that moment onwards so um yopi versus killula before you go um killula is my nigga i don't know who yopi is who's helen keller etika you need some education if you know what i mean no no no. i'm looking up on pornhub right now pornhub helen keller helen keller porn videos who's helen keller helen keller what Who, who is this chick? Is she like a, a fetish porn actor or something? Is this Helen Keller? I don't know who fucking Helen Keller is, niggas. Who is this? All I'm saying there's a bunch of fucking porn here, man. I'm not getting actual answers. Um, Etika, did you get Papa Musk <laughs> <laughs> Papa Musk is flamethrower. Um, well, I saw that and I thought it was ridiculous as fuck. It's like legitimately you're selling that to the general public. I mean, he had that whole little fire extinguisher thing too. So, I mean, that that seems responsible at least. Hey, sure thing. Like, why not? 
I don't know what Elon Musk is really intending to do with that flamethrower thing because it just seems so haphazard that you would put something like that out there for people. But all right, if it's did he have like regulations he had to follow or something, or was he just able to do so on his own accord? Uh, but whatever, man. I don't know. It, it, it just seems weird to me. But one thing I'll tell you is that, yeah, I, I bought the fucking flamethrower. I bought Elon Musk's flamethrower, bro. Fuck my life. Why did I spend almost six hundred dollars on this fucking flamethrower? I just, it to me, it literally was like, oh well, you know what? When will I find a flamethrower at five hundred and seventy dollars again? I gotta buy it. I bought it. Is there something? wrong with me it just seemed like such a great opportunity to own such a cool piece of hardware the way that it's designed with the whole have you guys seen how this thing looks it's not just a flame it's it's so cool flamethrower for sale wait no elon you know the boring company dogs look at this thing it's so cool Bro, it's designed to look like some sort of fucking gun from a, a modern day shooter. Like, it looks like a shotgun. And it has like a little tank on it, so who knows how long it can shoot flames for. But the goddamn thing looks cool, man. And I bought it. I fucking bought it, man. I bought the flamethrower and I bought the fire extinguisher. You better use it on stream. Where else am I going to use it? Of course I'm going to use it on stream. Sponsors, this isn't supposed to be information that I leaked out that's early. This is supposed to be something that I show when I get it. But you know what? I bought it. You guys know now. I cannot wait to play with this thing. I'm worried that I'm going to burn down my fucking house in the process. But hey. I got a fucking flamethrower. I am the official owner of one of these pieces of kit, and it looks so fucking cool. This is going to be in my possession. I can't wait until these things ship. Who knows? Maybe this might be a big trolling thing by Elon Musk, and it turns out that rather than an actual flamethrower, he sent over, um, I don't know, a fucking lighter with, uh, with a spray can of aerosol or something. I, that would suck. But, hey, don't use it in the house. Where else do we use it? I gotta use it on stream. I'll shoot it at the camera. Zzz, boom, blow the camera back. How would it look to have the camera melt in flames on a stream live, my boy? That would be nuts. But yeah, I, 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 invading countries will think twice. Hey, listen, in comparison to that video that we watched where the niggas, you know, die and they kill themselves, that's, that's that crazy ass video with the whole, oh yeah, shoot yourself in the head, bro. No, I would be literally chilling, waiting. I want to be invaded by a foreign country so that way I can tzz, blow niggas back with this flamethrower. I, I, I love the idea, man. The fact that he did this is so funny to me. Yo, Johnny came through with a $40 donation. Johnny, thank you so much for that generosity. He says, I'm you ready for school again? Helen Keller was a famous deaf, blind author that had done a lot during her time. Not a fucking porn star. Oh... All right, I read that. It just seemed like people were going off about her. Usually, I'm used to such base elements of chat discussion when it comes to my streams that it seemed a little weird to me that people would be talking in high regard to a scholar like Ellen or Helen Keller. I, I don't know. Uh, my bad. I, I really must have fucked that one up. She seems like this extremely established from what I read on the Wikipedia page, from what I glanced at. So... Yeah, that's my fucking bad. Clearly, she's not a porn star. Um, I don't mean any actual offense. It just didn't seem to me like people would be discussing someone of such um, society highs. It, it was weird to me. Helen Keller is a meme, low key, really now. You heard it here first. Etika wants to kill people in foreign countries. Don't you take this that far, nigga. You know the context I was talking about. Someone hit me with the Mithra porn. Um, Someone hit this with this. Someone hit this nigga with it, man. Yo, Etika, man, this is good. My Hero Academia cosplay. Okay, what is this? I don't know who this character is, but it looks cool as fuck. The belt around the fucking head. Jesus, looks like a Final Fantasy character, if anything, man. It's kind of dope. Man, I wish I could like buy clothes like that, but they're so expensive. Um, nah, Etika, man, that Pornhub video rehearsed just well enough not to get banned. Um, I'm gonna delete the video. Hopefully, the hopefully the mods don't catch my stream. While it's going on, I'm about to delete this shit right now. We're at in Chicago. I'd meet up. We're going to be downtown Chicago, man. So, hey, oh, Haskell, man, you really down to meet? We're going to be downtown Chicago. Um, Etika, Mithra or Robin? That's a very hard question because I'm so hooked onto Mithra right now that I will say, especially after seeing Johnny's donation, man, 
Um, thank you for the clarification as to who the hell Helen Keller is. But yeah, I gotta I gotta right now go with Mithra. But who knows when the hype dies down, maybe maybe the substance will boil to the top and I'll actually wind up choosing Robin. But for now, Mithra. I'm all about Mithra. She's amazing to me. Uh, I love the character type. Obviously, it's not a real, it's not based on a real person, but just for entertainment value, Mithra is amazing. Why did you decide to delete that link? Really go check out Turtlenecks on Twitter. She makes so much fan art of you. You should at least notice it. Turtle, turtle ducks, turtle ducks, not turtlenecks, turtle ducks. Turtle ducks on Twitter. This is coming from Yu Yu. All right, well, let me take a look. Is that the at? Hopefully it is. Turtle, I can type that shit in. Who am I? I'm not trying to act like some. Turtle ducks. Is this it? Please check out Turtle Ducks on Twitter. She makes so much fan art of you. You should at least notice it. I'm not sure who. I'm not seeing that much of it. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a second. Is this the person? The one who drew the um, rule 30. What's the what's the um, cross gender rule on the Internet? I, I saw plenty of this stuff. I think it's pretty funny, but that's all I can think of it. Check out this Zelda hentai manga. Okay. Um, what is this? This is coming from N Hentai. Okay. Wow. Okay. Listen. Breath of the Wild, bro. I'll put that shit on the pin list. I can't look at that right now. That's sexual intercourse, my boy. <laughs> but then again, I think we looked at sexual intercourse, but no, it was just like nudity and whatever. It's nudity. We, we can get age restricted. It'll be whatever. Cross gender is a subcategory of Rule 34. Rule 63. There we go. Thank you, boys. I can always rely on you. Rule 64. Is it 64 or 63? Reversal says 64 or 63. Okay. I know it's one of the two. I don't remember exactly, but yeah, that should. Low Lollicon? Excuse me? Excuse me, my boy? Wow. All right. You know what? That's a read for off stream, I feel. That shit looks like it gets a little bit explicit. But, um, boy, some fan arts. The tweet is unavailable. That's me. Oh, okay, okay. I see you, bro. That shit looks clean as fuck right now. He's got the um. Oh, he's got the niggas involved. Okay, okay. He got the motherfucking Kamui involved. Okay, I see you out here, my boy. That's good and clean. Got me with a shot cup. It works. If it's a, hey, hey, hold on. The shirt is off too. This is when I was at five hundred k. All right. So this is like maybe a few months back. I like it. Very, very fucking nice, man. Thank you for that work, man. I see you out here putting in that business. You got retro and the whole fam inside there. EJ Lennon? Only thing you're missing is Loot Bomber. And you got the hot dog, the, the Snapchat hot dog coming in here with the fucking dance. Yo, why is the high top looking so clean in this picture? You know damn well my high top ain't that clean in real life. But hey, sometimes it... That's the thing. My high top sometimes looks amazing. Sometimes it looks like shit. It depends on what day you pop in this bitch. You know what I mean? But very, very nice work there, man. I definitely got to give you some props. Hold on a second. We got this dude with a dickhead coming through on my damn notifications thing. Uh, are you woke? I had to. Um, you'll get the true ending for Doki Doki. I've watched the um, Matt Pat videos already. The game theory shit. So, you know, I'm not... I, I couldn't wait. So I seen all the real stuff there. I know about the whole project Luithiania or I don't know, Luthania, whatever the fuck it's called. The whole thing with the extra game, the horror game. Um, we have a donation coming in through from Otaku de Noche. Otaku at night. Is that what that means in Espanol? I really want for you to get back on Jojo. You got to, um, you ha I got you, wait, got your for your anime reactions. I got here for your anime reactions. It can be done via XSplit, Vegas, optional. Watch out for an email from me tomorrow. Confirm it via this email donation. Okay, Otaku de Noche. Uh, I think I can actually pull your donation up right here, but thank you very much for the contribution, man. Uh, let me see here. Otaku de Noche. Your email is... Da, 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 da. Where's my donations? My donations, email, boom. I'm going to pull you up right now. Let me know if this is actually, well, I mean, you don't have to tell me. But this is coming up. I can't see your email. Fuck. All right, I have to go to my email address. So I'm not going to spend time doing that. But thank you very much, man. How are your crypto coins doing, my dude? Oh, God. Reversal. Reversal. Did you get in on this game too, bro? This crypto shit got fucked up in the last few weeks, man. My shit is fucked. Finance. I'm going to see. What the deal is because my shit is gone bro 
I invested, it went down from when I talked about it earlier in the stream. I invested around $3,000 in cryptocurrency. And at one point, it was at seven or 8,000. Dropped all the way to where it is currently speaking at 1,400. This is fucking horrible, man. Um, everything that I own right now, all the coins are far below what I initially paid for them. So, but the thing is, it's only, it's only $3,000 worth, you know? I'm not going to sell or give up at this point. This is a long-term investment opportunity, not something that you can expect to make a ton of money from just, you know, a week or two or a month or two. This is something that I'm going to be in for on a year basis. Like, you know, I'll check every year to see where it's at. Who knows? Maybe within four or five years, these currencies might be worth something or maybe they're worth nothing. That's the scary part about investing. But you know what? Three grand maximum. That's as deep as I'm willing to go. I'm not going to go any further because obviously the market is completely unreliable and I'm not trying to spend actual living bill money on this kind of shit. You know what I mean? So um, Reversal says, oh shit, dude, um, you got bit connected almost, man. Bit connect! Bit connect! Oh God, I got bit connected. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Oh, man. That video was funny as fuck, though, man. This nigga Ethan still got it, bro. Still is able to fucking go put goofs and gaffs and clowns on these motherfucking niggas out here, man. <laughs> nigga said, Bitcoin, <laughs> My wife, my wife doesn't believe me. <laughs> and that was, that was funny. Oh, man. Yeah, bro. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Ivan Lai says, Bitcoin, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the nigga said bitcoin <laughs> the fucking chat yo I can't deal with the chat right now these niggas are wildin bro they said yo white persona is the video with weird sounds that people wanted you to watch but you didn't actually research into it low key scary but it's gotta be a coincidence we are coming, and we are coming in waves. We are going to take over the whole world. They will never be the same. <laughs> that, was, yo, that video was so fucking hilarious to me. If Bitcoin falls, are you going to invest in BitConnect? Yeah, if the company was still around, didn't they steal a bunch of niggas' money and never like talk about it again? Them niggas vanished, bro. That's fucked up. Oh, man. Reversal hit me up. He said, bro. How much do you remember of the Odyssey night? All I remember is that yo ass bit. Yo, listen, reversal. Yo ass was out. Knocked out completely, man. Gone as fuck. Hold on. Who's this cutie patootie coming into my Twitter um, notification feed? Who is this? All right, listen, listen. I'm going to be a gentleman. I advise all of you to do the same. You look very appealing, attractive. You're probably a fucking catfish, but hey. Let's see how many motherfucking catfishes can come through to the stream, bro. Let's see. <laughs> uh, we have a uh, Bitcoin. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I love I love that meme, man. To me, that's life itself, right there. Hold on a second. We got these motherfuckers posting the same damn thing over and over again, bro. Hold on a second. What the fuck is this? You post all these cute girls. She's a porn star. I know that much. She's an actually really good porn star. I don't remember her name, but I've seen a bunch of her work. It's Top Gun. Um, no more of this dickhead shit, but all right, guys, it's getting a little bit late. I think I'm <laughs> motherfucking big. Here comes the popo. Listen, is she is she legal? She's 14. No, you're you're wildin', bro. If she's four, she's 14. My freshly jazzy, she's dead ass. Yo, my dude, did you go see my messages from Sleek? Sleek, send me one more right now, bro, so I can see it. Best waifu in Xenoblade 2? Um, I'm going to say right now it's Mithra. As obvious and generic as that answer is, if you want to go for number two, I will say it is... I honestly like Sheba a lot. She's a fucking... You know, she's lesbian, but Sheba's so funny to me. I, I just like... Hey, listen, I, I, I like girls who take action, okay? That's, just, that's my weakness. When girls are actually affirmative and solid in the resolve and completely go in and try to go for what they want, I, feel, I view that as such, so attractive because that's something that I do all the time. I always, I'm a go-getter. I always go for what I want. So seeing someone else who's able to do the same, but in the gender that I actually find attractive, it's game over for me. 
Um, give me that Bitcoin now. <laughs> Hold on. If you want to listen to my song, just go to my channel. Sleek. All right. Let me let me visit your channel real quick, man. We got a couple of um, some Futanari going on. Check this cosplay of Earth Chan. It's from Jenna. Yeah, I follow Jenna. She's real cool, man. Um, Jenna, it, the Earth the Earth Chan thing blew her up, man. As you can see, I'm following her. Jenna's got a lot going on in a lot of different ways, bro. Congratulations on her and the success of her cosplay. Hopefully, it continues going well. She's done plenty of great stuff before the Earth Chan thing, but hey, it works out from what is going on right now. Um, we have, let me see here. Etika likes dominant women. I do. I really, really do. Like, it, it's so easy to be a dominant male. It requires practically no brain processing whatsoever, man. I mean, at least, you know, not to say that it's like completely mindless, but it's like so easy to be a dominant male. But a woman who's like, yo, I want that. I'm going for it. Fuck if it's just a dude. I want that high paying position. It's mine. I'm like a woman who thinks like a man and just goes for it. Or rather, not thinks like a man. That's obviously, you know, gender specifying. I mean, you can be progressive and not be a guy. But yeah, just someone who I'm attracted to people who don't give a fuck and completely disregard everything to go and achieve their goals. To me, that's one of the most attractive things that you can find in a person. And it's a rare attribute because so many people are just willing to coast by in life. I want... So I want to be excited when I see someone like, oh shit, like she she's really about her business, bro. Like, bro, you gotta keep up with her. It's like a task to keep up with her, bro. Like that that to me is like, yo, I'm I'm trying to bro, that 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 to me is one of the most attractive things you can ever have in a woman. But that's just me though, you know? I I I'm the same way, you know. I, I I've always been known to give a fuck about anything else but my goals. So that's just something that I love in people, man. Felicify says, same etiquette, bro, Felicify, bro, I'm, that's why I'm saying, I'm not trying to waste time out here, man, you know, you can have fun with people, you can, you can make out with people, you can date people, you can, you can mess around, you can, you can, you can go to clubs, parties, lounges, bars, and, you know, all this other stuff, and have a great time with people, but at the end of the day, I truly, for me to truly get attached, it's gotta be someone who's like, yo, I'm about my shit. You can join me if you want or sit on the fucking side. I'm doing my thing. Fuck that. I'm, I, 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 to me, it, 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 man, that's why the girl that I bought this for, <laughs> the girl that I bought this for, uh, who knows? That's whatever. I'm not trying to ever. I, I still like it. I, I think it's great all on its own, man. So that Undertale Collector's Edition, I, I definitely appreciate that shit. 29-year-old man. You mean 27-year-old man. Um, the fuck shit is for people that don't want to buy a house before 30. Well, you know, Velisify, you're trying to fucking attract me. Velisify, you're trying to fucking date me, my nigga? You're saying all these things that I like. What are you trying to do out here? I mean, you don't have to spend your time appealing to me, bro. Clearly, you have better things to do. But yes, I agree with you completely, dog. Um, we all need a person to buy Undertale for. Pitt, that's a fucking horrible statement that I completely agree with. Does that mean that every man is gay because I have a because they have a dick? Actually, technically speaking, you're a fucking homo because you do have a dick. I've touched my dick plenty of times, meaning that, yes, I am a homosexual man who likes sucking dick. Uh, uh, Papa Dog Sucker says, if you don't think Futa is gay, then you get a ban. I wouldn't test him. Papa Dog's known to do some dumb shit when it comes to this uh, this moderation thing. Uh, we have a couple of posts. Out. Hold on. This is actually a good one. I'm saving this one. <laughs> I'm saving. You see the cheeks in full effect right there, man. This is going straight up in the... Um, Wait, what the f what the okay, Daniel King, yeah, real funny, man. This nigga's in Vegas. Um, all right, guys. I am going to basically dip out. It's been a little long. I'm not trying to have the stream fuck me up. We've done way too much to be considered um safe for work at this point. But Elizabeth says, I'm not trying to win you over. There just aren't many people that are driven. Yes, drive! Oh my god, why I don't mean to get overexcited, but yeah, it's just for me, it's it's so I know there's people out there that are driven in their perspective fields who find something passionate and completely go in. But I, it's hard for me to find. Maybe, may, who knows? Maybe one day I'll truly find the person out there who is like really driven. But until then, I'm having fun. I'm wilding out. I'm partying. I'm doing my thing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun. It's all good. But hey, the day that that girl decides to come along who's like, oh, I'm a fucking mogul. Are you down with me, nigga, or no? I'll be like, Senpai, hey, listen. But until then, I'm chilling right now. I'm having fun. I want to be smitten. I want to be smitten. Well, who knows? Maybe Valentine's month, it might just go down. 
trust me, I'm open to the idea. Like, I'm sure many of you gentlemen are, many of you gentle women are, all right? But for now, I'm... Wait, drive? Ooh, what's this? Yo, first of all, stop it, bro. First of all, stop it, man. You, you're, making me, you're making me laugh too much tonight, man. He says, are you looking in the right places to find these driven women? I'm not looking anywhere. That, that's the thing that makes it difficult, bro. It's hard to look because right now, I'm focused on getting my craft up. My business, you know, like a lot of you guys who may be focused on your business or your jobs, um, getting your professional status up and improving your income, your ability to have better credit and to help out the people who are close to you and your your family, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother. The thing that makes it difficult for me is that right, well, a lot of us, the, the, the general young adult 20s problem is we have to work super hard to get progress, but we barely have time for anything else. And that includes personal, personal relationships. You know, I don't really have time to meet and greet motherfuckers. The time I have is very, very stringent. And you know, by the time when it's over, it's over. So I don't really have time to meet and greet people. I don't know how it'll happen. Who knows? I might just be single for the rest of my life. But even if that is the case, I'll adopt a child and I'll have a good time with that. Because, I mean, hey, I love kids. I fucking love kids. So one way or another, I'm going to have me a kid by the age of like 30, 31, 32-ish. And um, whether it be adopted or, you know, born from the loins of the woman that I love, doesn't matter to me. I'll have a kid and that'll be great. Um... Anyways, boys, wait, I'm going to start a legit stream within the next couple months. I already have all the equipment and a format set up from Evanite. Any advice? My advice to you is, God damn it, man, make sure your stream is engaging. Make sure whatever the fuck you do, I don't know, but that's the thing. Your intention might be different than me. My intention whenever I stream is to pull in people, have a good time myself, and do ridiculous shit that makes me look back and laugh at the moment. Maybe you just want to have a stream where you play games, interact with your close-knit audience, and have a good time. There's different intentions there. What do you truly want from your channel? Where do you see yourself in the long term? What is your end goal? You tell me your end goal along with your approach right now, and I'll tell you if it truly is fitting, if those two things are compatible from my perspective. But once again, it's my perspective. I don't fucking have all the information. All I can tell you is what worked for me. Um... Papa Dog Sucker says, I never have fun at Etika streams. So why is your bitch ass here all the time? <laughs> I, I, obviously, I'm joking. Papa Dog is in. He's the homie. But why the fuck is your bitch ass here all the time, nigga? Get the fuck out of my streams then, Papa. As a matter of fact, fuck this nigga. I'm tired of this boy. Listen, here, eat this nigga. Get, 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 a, get a load of this nigga. Fuck out of here. I don't give a damn. I'll time this nigga out. Fuck him. Um, Ivan and I say, my stream format will be quite similar to yours. Okay, well, if it is, then you have to make sure that you have fun in the streams and also make sure that you have something which is engaging and entertaining for the guys that are watching. You know what I'm saying? These sponsor streams are a little different. I like these because I don't have to focus on entertaining. I can focus entirely on just interacting. Uh, yeah, you know, this nigga Papa Dog got killed. Yeah, I, it's, it's not the first time I've killed this nigga. I've killed him plenty of times. Stop acting like it's something new. I fucked up Papa Dog endless throughout the history of my channel. This, 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 is, this is a special. Lyra says, okay, I'll talk to Papa while he's gone. Um, Papa's gonna lose it mentally. This was all that he had. Green, are you sure about that? Really? That's so satisfying. This nigga's only banned for a f few seconds. It ain't no big deal. Is he really about to fucking take himself? Or is he about to fucking say Yori this shit? Come on now. Wait, okay, so Freshy Jazzy says, man, there was this one cutie that I liked. Let me get my Twitter for notifications up. Let me get my Twitter notifications up, man. Niggas ain't seeing nothing. This is, uh, hold on, let me, let me scroll up. Because I know niggas are probably saying stuff to me. Freshy Jazzy says, man, I had this one cutie that I liked. I wanted to get with her, but apparently I had already blown my chance from a very reasonable thing. I didn't know, but she kept leading me on. It, it sounds kind of familiar to what I had experienced prior. And that's just a natural thing. But it, regardless of what you look like, you're going to have people that just play with you. And unfortunately, that was my last situation. But you know what? Hey, you just keep it moving forward. You just can't judge an entire an entire group based on the actions of one, you know? Love is still out there. Fun is still out there. Relationships, dating, having a good time, making out. Wow, that, that's still a healthy part of the romanticizing scene. So I, I think, honestly... It comes with the territory. You have to be ready to get your heart broken and stepped on. The point is not to avoid it getting stepped on or broken. It's to be able to repair it 
instantaneously or as fast as humanly possible. Don't focus on not getting hurt. Focus on quick recovery from getting hurt. And I think that'll be honestly the best way to approach the situation. That's usually how I approach it. We have some, uh, this is, um, this is some, I, I'm, I, I mean, here, okay. Okay, I, I, I think the proportions of this are really well. Hold on, what's the deal with this blood moon thing, bro? I've seen niggas talk about it, man. Here's the thing that's frustrating. If I was doing a regular stream, my stream will be shut down and my channel will have a strike at this point because I'm always showing stuff on my Twitter timeline. It's not my fault. I'm just literally scrolling. She, she dabbed on Van Damme's grave? That's fucked up. But I can't do shit like this on my actual real streams because niggas will always complain and shit. Like, who cares? No one's beating their dick out on the stream. This is fucking art, but everyone wants to make a big deal. Like, who fucking cares, nigga? Like, we're, we're streaming. It, it doesn't matter. But, you know, the context, YouTube will always turn it to the maximum and try to give out strikes and bans and, and punishments and all this other bullshit over just a fucking cartoon titty. Who gives a flying fuck, nigga? That's not the focus of why we're here. No one's got their dick in their hand watching the stream. The point of all of this is to have a good time, interact, talk, share experiences, stories, while out, find new things, mind blowers and all that. Like, that, that, that's the point. But no, fucking YouTube. So that's why I make these streams unlisted. And that's why I'm going to continue these sponsor streams because in my honest opinion, these let me be, uh, these, these let me have a certain sense of comfort in knowing that I can't be penalized because they can't be publicly found. Unless somebody reported them in the stream, but that would be kind of fucked up. Um, hold on, let me, let me go back to the chat. Kobe? Hold on, Kobe's in here, bro? Wait, where's that nigga, Kobe? Listen, my nigga, Kobana Money 456 is in this bitch, man. That's my fucking nigga right there. Uh, I mentioned earlier to you guys how we're going to be... Me and Kobe are going to be in Chicago from, um, from February 10th. Until, I mentioned it earlier, I don't know. Like... If you guys are, if you guys know any shit going down or down to chill or whatever, just while out with us, let us niggas know. We're trying to go in because I'm going to be in Chicago from the 10th until the 16th. And I'm going to be flying out. Kobe's going to be with me too. We're going to be flying out to um, Seattle. I'm going to be there until maybe like the 26th and then I'll be back home. So Chicago from the 10th to the 16th, Seattle from the 18th un or uh, whenever until the 26th. So let, let, let me know guys, but just to let you guys know. Hold on a second, bro. Wait a minute. I mean, for reasons I won't specify, can you say on stream, Daniel is not gay? All right, so how do you want me to say it? Like, with enthusiasm? Like, all right, hey, listen. Daniel is not gay. Or do you want me to say, like, look, Daniel's not gay. How how do you want it to come across, nigga? Um, all right, who, um, please forgive me, Seattle is me, my boy. Oh, but li listen, Felicify, I don't know. Would you, do you, Velisify, do you really, do you think that John would invite you to the wedding? I know you're not trying, I'm, I'm just fucking with you at this point. You know, I'm not really trying to like, you know, have you, oh, jump for the cookie, Velisify, come through, jump for it, man. You know, you want to get invited? No, I'm not trying to do that to you, obviously. I, I mean, I'm just saying, it would be cool. I mean, I think Velisify's person, <laughs> do you remember what happened when we were in fucking Seattle last time? This nigga John did a video with Verlis and he had been like, yo, post in the comments what you think of this. What does this mean? And Mo and, and this nigga Mo was like, "Yeah, dude, we're in a video with Elizabeth." <laughs> I was, I was so fucking, I was laughing. I was done, bro. Funniest shit I've seen in a while. He deleted the video like an hour after, bro. It was so funny. Um, Pat's was fun as hell, though, bro. Jesus Christ! Not to mention your boy got some action. <laughs> we ain't with the talking, bitch. We bout that action. I lost so many niggas turned to a savage. Hey. <laughs> And he ain't with that life, man. Catch him in traffic. Hey, okay. Let me stop talking about that. Naru Kami says, um, treats for the doggies. Hey, Naru. What the fuck does that mean, nigga? Is it the Elon Musk one? Yes, nigga. I bought that shit. Nigga, Kobe, I bought the fucking flamethrower. Why the fuck did I spend over half a grand on this shit? I feel like I have an honest-to-goodness problem. But you know what? If it gets here before um, John's wedding in February, Kobe, I'll put the shit in the suitcase I'll bring a fucking flamethrower to Seattle, nigga. I'll bring it to Chicago. I don't know what we'll do with it, but whatever. It'll be there. So hopefully Elon ships these things out before the end of the month. I mean, even if I don't get it um, before the um, before the wedding or the Chicago trip, fuck it. We can meet up later on. We can set some shit on fire. I don't give a 
fuck? I don't know why I even bought this thing. But you can see right here, it tells you the order summary. Um, let me see if there's any sensitive information in this email that I can show here. Um, it tells you the whole thing um, with the order number. I don't know if I can show that. But it says, uh, hi, Desmond. Thanks for pre-ordering a fucking flamethrower. We'll notify you when we have additional shipping information. So, bam. I, I, pr I purchased the flamethrower. Fuck it. I want to see what happens. Is it really going to be a flamethrower? Is it a fucking troll? Elon Musk, my, my, my dollars are in your hand right now. All I'm waiting for is the results, okay? Um, it shows you the place that it's going to be shipped to on this confirmation page. So I can't really show this. But, yeah, I, I, I bought it. As you can see right here, uh, let, me, let me show it real quick. Let me make sure it real quick. Can I show it real quick? Oh, no, no. It shows the order number, so I can't show it. But, hey, I... um. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited about this. Um, they got me for a mind... Wait, hold on a second. Chicago TSA will kill you? Oh. Wait, they got you for a mic and a pump? A pump? A penis pump, nigga? Wow. Damn, man. All right, so maybe I can't bring the fucking flamethrower... Well, then again, Chicago isn't that far. Who knows? Maybe I could just, like, hire someone to drive me real quick, and then we could just take that shit. Yo, imagine how sick John's wedding would be. Wait, no, 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 no. That should be Chicago. I bet. I keep thinking the wedding's in actually Chicago. It's in fucking Seattle, so I won't. I probably won't be able to bring the thing. Nah, damn. As, you know what, Kobe? As I think about it, yeah, you're right. TSA is not going to have that shit. They're going to be like, what the fuck is this? Like, <laughs> and I'm going to probably have to fly back to New York with the damn thing or ditch it when I go into um, Seattle, so... Maybe I won't be able to bring it with me. But one thing we could do is have you come to New York. And then you could, when I get my house, bro, trust me, the flamethrower was going off. This is going to be the best party favor ever. Nigga, I'm looking forward to this shit. Get a Lambo through Uber and put Chicago on fire, dude. Listen, Reversal got the right idea. Listen, nigga, I'm trying to get in trouble with this thing. What's the point of buying a flamethrower if I'm not setting some shit on fire? I don't want to have it here just to look at it and beat my dick to the idea of shooting flames. I want to actually do so. It, it, listen, man, I don't know. I, I really have to think about it because it was honestly one of the weirdest ways that I've spent my money. But, hey, I, at least it's there. I can worry about the options with the flamethrower after I actually own the flamethrower. Once I'm able to use it on camera a few times or whatever and see that it's legitimate, then I'll worry about where to take it afterwards. I just hope that it ships before John's wedding because I really want to incorporate it somehow. Let me stop. Wait a minute. What the fuck, Kobe? What do you mean? Let me stop. Yo, get an ice sculpture of Rick. <laughs> who? Who? Who is this? Kobe, you, you, your, your, your message seems a little weird. I don't see I don't see anything after this line of text. Get an ice sculpture of blank. Uh, who? Who were you referencing there, man? Are you are you talking about someone that we know? It's a little bit weird to me, Kobe. You shouldn't be making typos like that, dogs. You're established on this YouTube game. What the fuck's the deal, my nigga? Um, I saw a ghost name, and I dare not say it again. Yo, you. What the fuck you mean, man? Hey, hold on, what? Make some s'mores with that flamethrower? Bro, listen. I'm, I'm down for it, man. I just gotta be careful. I'm not trying to get fucking Michael Jackson out here on some Pepsi commercial type shit. Motherfucking waving flames around. Next thing you know, the high top catch fire like a fucking black ass candle. Burn all my shit down to the root. Next thing you know, you're gonna see Etika Ball Network because the fucking hair follicles got burned down. I I'm not trying to have that happen. As a matter of fact, with all the hairspray that I be putting in my hair sometimes, bro, maybe I shouldn't be spraying this flamethrower haphazardly. I might... <laughs> Light my shit up. Next thing you know, I'll be the first nigga candle alive. It's Black History Month. We don't need none of that shit happening to me. I'm trying to get my dick sucked. <laughs> I'm playing. Um, Attica, second degree burns network. That's what, it, it might be a problem, bro. Fuck. Bald Attica, it might happen, nigga. Thanks to this flamethrower. I'm about to get Michael Jackson. The bald picture fitting to be him. Young nigga with a fucking bald ass head thanks to this flamethrower. That's crazy, bro. But then again, I'm not that young. I'm fucking 27, bro. I'm getting up there. I, I, your, your, your boy's got that age on deck, man. Who knows? It might be time. This might just be the oncoming of me being an older, uh, established adult male. It'll be Final Destination, bro. Final Destination. Nigga, that shit's about to be... What's the what's the circular stage in, in Smash Brothers, bro? Shit's about to be poke floats my boy no, no substance there just completely hollow um i used to be bald bro it don't look that bad well i've seen thanks to you know the power of photoshop how it would look 
I'm not excited about it. Listen, my hair is my identity. The day that I ever go bald, damn, just, just fucking kill me. But then again, there's plenty of guys who are younger than me that have gone bald, and they manage to deal with it. So I think I'll be able to deal with it if the day ever comes. But man, that would suck. <laughs> that would suck. That would fucking suck. I'm holding on to my fault. My dad is bald. So I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> but hey, so far, so good. Hopefully it doesn't happen for the long term. Final destination. Loser gets their hair flamethrowered. Now, that's a fucking wager. Me and Kobe played... Listen, Kobe, we did a fucking Smash Brothers match for some money on the side at one point. Nigga, we do a Smash Brothers match for a flamethrower shot on the hair, bro. Nigga, blow each other's head back completely, nigga. <laughs> that's what... How I mean, we play for that? Listen, I'm, I, I think my coin's pretty damn good. Uh, but then again, he beat me last time we had a money match. Fuck this nigga, Kobe. But I mean, hey, listen. We can do that shit next time. Bro, I'll be set. I'll be ready. I'll be prepared, my nigga. Wait, we gonna burn our hair off? Yes, uh, the ultimate wager. We can put this shit on YouTube. Make hella views, bro. It'll be crazy. Um, you better not start any forest fires with that thing. From Abigail. I don't know, bro. No guarantees. At the end of the day here, it's a flamethrower. Like, what else do you do besides shit, set shit on fire? This seems like something that I would fuck with Ice Poseidon on. He, he, he sponsored earlier in the stream. Ice Poseidon, did you buy one of those Elon Musk flamethrowers? If you didn't, I honestly feel that's lacking in terms of content. You need to grab your hands on that ASAP. But then again, knowing him, he probably did. I wouldn't be surprised if he told me, yo, dude, <laughs> dude, I bought one. He's <laughs> like, okay, cool. Buy a fire suit online. I thought Shofu quit Smash. I thought Shofu quit YouTube. Man, Shofu, get your ass back on track, bro. What the fuck's the deal, man? Get your ass back in that position, dogs. Just wait. Just, just, just wait for the shit, man. It'll go down eventually. Uh, hold on, yo. Jump and say some um, straight shit. Me, okay. You know what, guys? Kobe doesn't have much hair to lose anyway. Just gotta burn his beard off, bro. I'm about to make. I'm about to make Drizzy go back to the six, nigga. <laughs> I'm about to make. I'm about to send that nigga Drizzy back to the six. <laughs> running through the six with my woes. <laughs> Listen, I was running through the six without my pubes. <laughs> I'm burning up the hair. I ain't got no hairline. <laughs> my nigga hit me up and now my shit ain't fine. Hey, oh, okay, why am I talking to all this bullshit? Um, don't get a retard like Ice Poseidon with his hands on a flamethrower. Listen, I've chilled with Ice Poseidon off his streams. I honestly think he's an extremely chill dude. Then again, it could have just been him awkward. But the first night that I chilled with him, I took him to a party where we were on a bunch of fucking alcohol and some girl tried to get me a fucking tablet of acid. I'm legit. We were at the sex museum, and I took Ice Poseidon there. It was a popping ass party. One of my boys invited me. Shout out to Ray. One of my, he's like my weed man in New York City, and he's such a cool dude. But he hit me up like, bro, I got a party for you tonight. And I was like, oh, what a coincidence. I'm chilling with fucking Ice Poseidon. Let's go through. We went through, and niggas got fucked up. Oh, bro, I kept buying shots for everyone. We got twisted. And this nigga Ice was in the middle of the dance. We're like, yeah, dude, this is crazy, dude. <laughs> he said, it's crazy, dude. <laughs> With that fucking deep-ass voice, nigga. What the fuck? Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty funny, man. But yeah, we went to the sex museum for a party. It became a goddamn sausage fest within f maybe 30 to 40 minutes of us being there. So experience didn't last for the fun part too much but it was interesting we got a couple of licks in us and uh a lady a nice lady every now and then i think she was a girl i don't care i mean it, it, it's well actually i do care i, I don't want to i'm not i'm not on that i'm i'm personally not invested in sexual relations or intimate relations with someone who has had trans surgery but not in the disrespectful perspective but it's just not to my preference however i'm not saying that people who are fitting in that category don't deserve love or intimacy or anything of the sort i'm just saying personally speaking that it's not to my taste however i feel like that night i was approached by a couple of individuals who fall under that specification and I wasn't with it, so therefore. <laughs> but hey, it was still a fun ass party, man. Um, I just decided I fucked this tranny at one point, so hey, man. You know, well, he didn't fuck her. You guys think so? But hey, now that, that's all I'm going to. Any holes or gold? Listen, okay, yeah, my boy Shadman came through. That nigga Shadman is cool as fuck, bro. What's this man been doing? A lot, a lot of people find his art controversial. I think it's funny as fuck. Hold on a second, where's, where's Shadman? At? Shad, what's up with you, bro? I, I like it. You follow each other? He follows me? When does Shadman follow me? Yo! Legitimately, this nigga f 
fucking followed me. How soon was this? Whoa. Yo, he followed me recently. The nigga hit me up like I was his second to last follow. Well, following. What a, I don't know how you describe it. Yo, man, Shadman. Well, yo, this nigga's a Joy-Con boy. Legitimately, this nigga is a Joy-Con boy. I feel you out here, man. Yo, props to Shad, bro. Keep doing with that artwork. I'm loving it, dogs. You, you, you make some good shit. I mean, I'm not into, you know, the 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 um the really controversial shit, but a lot of the shit you do, I, I, I'm into it, man. So props to you. Shad, thanks a lot. Shad Bass came through, hitting the Joy-Con boys up with some love. Can't argue with that, man. Um, in terms of asking for commissions, I mean, nigga's probably busy. Shave a piece of your hair and send it to me through an envelope from Fancy Zelda. I could do that if you really want. Send me an address. Sure, I'll send it. Um, even the one with the mom and the daughter after the dad leaves, I did not see that one weapon talk, so I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't keep up with Shad all the time, but hey, um, niggas are sending me hentai out here. That's a good image. As a matter of fact, you know, you know, I might say that later on. Watch this. It'll make you giggle. Check out Rich Chigga's um, song on 88 Resident. Everyone has a joke. What starts with E and has got like potential. Hold on. Whoa, hold on. I see the myth with thing right there. That, that pervert. Ah, I got you, bro. Xenoblade has been taking over my life, nigga. I'll tell you that much. Have you heard of Yumacon? I might be going to Katsukon soon, actually. So, I, I don't know. It, it, it might be going there, but that's in February, too. There's so much stuff going on in February. I can't say for a fact. This is actually an image that I can get some exploitable stuff out of later on. This is a great thumbnail for the future. Anything with Reggie Fisame, I can usually make some fucked up shit out of him. I mean, the stream thumbnail for the last um, thing that I did was with Reggie. I mean... This is actually perfect, in my opinion. So, yeah, anything with Reggie in a position where he's being casual or he's, in a, he's you know, talking about stuff, I can make a thumbnail out of, and this will be Reggie. Thank you very much to um, Austin. I can tell you about, can I tell you about when I met Reggie at E3? The story was one out of a million. Yeah, definitely, man. I, I, you know what? That picture is exploitable as fuck, man. I'm definitely going to be using that. Um, yeah, and it seems like it's the regular stuff here. Guys, it's late night, 3.50 a.m. Stream for a little bit longer with the sponsor stuff than I initially planned on, but I'm about to be out. But before I do, I gotta, I gotta hit y'all niggas up with the motherfucking, um, shoutouts in the, in the chat, man. Um, Nameless saying, yo, what's good? What's going on, bro? Why does it say 258 walking now? But, wait, watching now. YouTube says 800 viewers. This is actually my stream, which ended. I don't know why people are still in there for, but this thing is always fucked. This this viewer count thing is the most janky thing on my stream, man. Don't rely on that. It usually gives, like, fucked up information, so I got to find a new way. Reversal says stream was dope. Listen, man, it's only dope because my niggas came through, man. Shout out to Reversal and Kobe. These are my boys in real life who came through. Really do appreciate it, man. Reversal, I don't know when we will be able to chill next. Whenever you're next in America... Let me know. DM me on Twitter, bro. I mean, I, I don't know when you'll be in town, but one thing I'll suggest is coming through for Evo um, in Vegas 2018. I think that's around, like, August. That's usually when a lot of people come together. It's a great time. Trust me. You come to Evo, and I will show you a fucking blast. Personally speaking, bro, you know how I try to go in with these parties and all that stuff? Yo, Reversal, come to Evo 2018. I will ensure you do not regret it. Kobe can tell you. Kobanamani 456 can tell you, whenever Evo goes down, it's a fucking trip in more ways than one. Um, Sleek saying, yo, Etika, you said that you would listen to my song. And also, I cannot wait until the next sponsor stream. Sponsor streams are fun as hell, man. Like, I, I feel as if this is, like, relaxed as fuck in comparison to what streams usually are. I'm able to just be chill, you know, despite showing so much personal information and whatnot. Uh... Hopefully, niggas don't DDoS me, man. I'm going to trust you guys to be nice to me, okay? We got we got some hentai here. I got something new to add to the spank bank, bro. That's definitely chill. Um, guys, can we yell in caps? Uh, let me see. Reversal says... What did this nigga Reversal say? I didn't see his post. Belicify says, just read my DMs. Okay. What did this nigga say? I'm not going to show it because I don't want to, like, expose you. He says... Hey, man, I'm not trying to suck your dick. I think, I feel like I remember you saying that earlier to me. I never hear the shit that you say. Wait, I never hear the shit you say from any of my friends, but it's great to see. Great to um, sympathize. Confirmation is always good with such rare traits. Yo, that's something that I can definitely agree with, man. That's why when I met you in person, I was a little surprised. I thought you would be a fucking shit poster 
And, you know, like an LOL memer type nigga. But clearly, you're not on that level. I mean, thankfully. Um, and plus, this nigga, Relicify, got drunk as fuck with me. Anybody who can drink with your boy is they definitely get a couple of brownie points. So that's why I can't sit here and shit on Velocify the way that a lot of other content creators have in the past. It's just being with him personally speaking and his face to face. He's, he drank with me. He explained things to me, talked with me, sat down with me. Wasn't shit posting to me. Wasn't memeing with me. He was being real one to one, like just speaking as if anybody would, you know, whether you're talking to a stranger or a best friend. And that, that's something that I, I have to give him props on, man. Like, you know, I can't say that I'm not looking forward to our next meeting in Seattle. That's all I'm saying, bro. I don't think John's going to invite you to the wedding. But, I mean, hey, that would be funny if it actually did happen. Um, let me see here. From Reversal saying, got to respect what Velisify. He's business-minded, <laughs> business bro, Velisify. Listen, I got to... If there's one thing I definitely have to say, I respect 100%, not just what I just talked about, but also his, his work ethic. Holy shit. This nigga be posting, bro. Posting, 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 posting. And it, it, it's admirable. My approach changed on YouTube over the last few years. I used to post a lot of videos. I don't anymore. That's a very conscious decision that I made intentionally. And I just changed up the way that my content is and how I deliver it. But, you know, that's personal perspective. Um, Velocify has always maintained that hard work, consistency, ethic, and it, it gets in places, man. You know, so I got to give him props there. I can't, I can't shit on him for that. I feel like he's a fucking idiot when it comes to how he posts to troll to specifically pull out reactions from people. I still feel like you do that intentionally, man. So I, 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 I got to say, I feel like you intentionally say shit to fuck with people to rise a reaction out of them just so you can, I don't know. I don't feel like you, I mean, who knows? Maybe you are trying to benefit with views from it, but maybe that's just a prior perspective of yours. And I'm not like actually seeing the revised up to date Velocify, but that's what my perspective was of you before, and that's why I decided to not associate with you. But, hey, you seem all right for now. I mean, I just the thing that makes it difficult is I hate Pokemon, so I can't comment or watch Pokemon content. I mean, as soon as I turn on Pokemon content, I get fucking sick. I hate... So I, it's just me, personally speaking. But who knows? Maybe when Pokemon for the Switch is announced, and when I when Pokemon for the Switch is announced, I'm actually jumping back into the news game. So, listen, you better keep that work going. As soon as I come back into the game, bro, listen, don't let Pokemon Switch come back. I'm coming back in like it's 2014. I'm going to be like, shoop! Hey, guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here, and today there seems to be a leak, which... People are confusing with actual reality. I don't know if this is something legitimate. It reminds us of the Chinese stuff. Let's take a look at exactly what this is. Maybe you can let me know if you think it's real or not. I'll leave a straw poll in the description. Let's see what's going ah, I'm, I'm, I'm being an asshole. I'm joking around, clearly. But, yeah, man. Um, Not a green itch says, man, bug Pokemon are the best Pokemon. My favorite combination is bug and water. Holy shit, the resistances. Um, Etika Pokemon music reviews, please. Oh, God. Gonna conquer Pokemon Switch. Listen, Reversal, Verlizify, Kobe, we gotta, we gotta compete with each other. We gotta constantly grandstand each other, bro. Because Pokemon Switch, oh, my God. Wasn't that where A-Drive was born from? Bro, that game will make and break YouTube careers. Look, we gotta keep ourselves in check, bro. We gotta... Whoosh, 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 whoosh. That's why I love YouTube. It's literally a self-improving platform, you know? Everything improves just based upon the competition value. That's cool. Um, you love Pokemon. Eh. Summed up Shofu's channel in a nutshell. Any Pokemon you can fuck? I'd fuck a Lopunny. I would. I would. Is there a Bug Water? There's Surskit. Um, there's... Wait, wait, what's his name? Uh... uh the new nigga, the new nigga, the roach, the roach garbage ass nigga. The one who evolves into Golisopod and is there another bug water? There's one more bug water. I just can't remember his name. Golisopod and uh, Surskit. But yeah, I, I just love bug water, man. To me, like, it, it just is such an optimal typing. It resists a lot of shit. It's neutral to a lot of shit. And it barely has any weaknesses. Um, you wouldn't fuck you wouldn't fuck a Braxton on some CJ shit on some CJ Lyra Paradox is out here, bro. Exposing. <laughs> I'm not a furry, so I can't say. I mean, some people be drawing furries like humans, so they look very fuckable. But 
if they draw furries like animals, like I, I won't fuck a dog. I'm, I'm not into that. But you know, cartoon or real life related, that's not my thing. But when they draw the furries to look like humans, like who wouldn't fuck a Lola bunny, my nigga? I, I, I would. Listen, I'm, I don't think that's out of the ordinary. Listen, how many of us, when we saw Space Jam, wanted to get with Lola Bunny, my nigga? It's, uh, don't, don't lie to me. You're bullshitting me if you're telling me you didn't want to do it. We all wanted to hit that. Real talk, man. Etika into that Gardevoir. I, I, would, I would do some Gardevoir. Bro. I, I, I would. You know what? Maybe I am a furry. Maybe I am a fucking freak. I would, bro. I would. <laughs> Never fuck a dog. Maybe just a suck. Oh, okay. I feel you, man. Your name is Dog Sucker at this point, you know? Like, so then that makes kind of sense. Um, but all right, guys. I'm going to be out of here. It was a fun spawn stream. This, These streams are really, really fucking fun. I was supposed to be gone a while ago. I'm supposed to be sleeping by now or playing Xenoblade Chronicles and ruining my fucking life by now. So, hey, we'll see. Um, good stream. Next time, make sure that the mic is on before you start. It was on. You're trolling me, nigga. What the fuck is this? Why do you feel the need to go so extreme with this trolling bullshit? But What the fuck? Yo, this is a good-ass image, bro. That's a save. I don't know how I never had this image before. Perfect. Listen, I'm a Xenoblade fiend right now. I can't get enough. Of that. That's a save, too. Wow, my collection is lacking. Listen, if there's one thing I can say, my hentai collection is consistently improved by Twitter. I don't know where you guys find these images, but it's amazing. I'll give you that much. Jesus, this nigga posted... Okay, this one, I'm not really feeling this one too much, but hey, it's whatever. All right, guys. <laughs> this nigga Zeke, bro. I started using him when I party, and the, the commentary is out of this world, man. I love this dude. He's so hilarious. If you ever play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and you have this guy added to the party, utilize him ASAP. But um, link it, link it. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Let me link it. Why not? I mean, I'll put it out there. Uh, which one do you want me to link? This one and the other one. Sure thing, man. I got you. Um, but all right, guys. Trust me, this stream is getting the Zekanator. <laughs> oh, oh yes. What were you talking about, furry ears? <laughs> I, I I love Zeke, man. <sighs> There's a lot of characters in that game that I really really love, but yeah, Zeke is definitely one of them. Um, but all right, guys, I'm going to be out of here deleting the stream before the mod C. It was really fun. Um, props to my boys for coming through to this bitch. And um, Etika, did you forget about me, my boy from Skleek? Well, let me see here, man. Skleek, where was your where's your video at? Did I delete it? I don't have it here. Um, can you send me the link without the dot com thing? Or send me the YouTube ID. Someone better record this for fun times. Eh, it's no need to record it. You don't gotta... This shit... This shit don't have to be out there, bro. Never have I clicked on an image so fast, bro. My newest video. Oh, okay. Let me go to your channel real quick, man. Let me see. This better be entertaining. You know I'm, you know I'm strict about this kind of shit, right? Let me see here. All right. So, Evisceration version 2. An Etika and Megalo. Okay. Okay, okay, I see you, boy. I see you, boy. Hold on. That rift is real as fuck. Okay, I see you, boy. You know what? I'm about to pin this bitch. I, I think I might save it. Definitely getting added to the collection. I don't know how the remix involves me. It seems like it's just a Megalovania remix. But hey, Evisceration version 2, it works for me. I like being the title of um, people's 
um, song iteration. So you chose a good picture too. I look good in that one. There's plenty of pictures that you can choose, which I look like a fucking freak of nature. But hey, you chose a good one. Props to you, my boy. Um, someone asked, when can we do a hentai reaction? I'm about to do a hentai reaction with my dick, nigga, <laughs> off stream. But um, I don't think that's going to be an official thing. Etika, I hope you enjoy that Zelda mango. Bro, you 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 bought it up at the perfect time. I'm about to take a nice read of this shit. It looks insane. This looks nuts. I'm with it, bro. I'm with it. Hey, listen. <laughs> uh, but for now, guys, I'm about to be out of here, man. It was a fun stream. Thank you guys for tuning in to the first and the second. The sponsored things, I, I'm, I, I absolutely love it. Like, this is something I adore. It reminds me of when I was streaming on YouTube back in the beginning. And the great thing about it is if we go to YouTube gaming, you don't see a goddamn thing. No one knows the wiser. We're streaming with no viewers available right now. We're technically... What, what number are we? Are we, like, number two in the stream? I don't know how many viewers we got, but we're supposed to be up here. We are nowhere to be found. Niggas are on some secret, covert, fucking James Bond mission-type shit, man. I love it. So thank you all for coming through. It was extremely entertaining. Thank you for helping me to relive some of that vibe that I had from 2014, 13. Great times in my book. Um, also, food for thought, that was where I met Kobe, so those are really fun times for me, man. Um, Freshy Jazzy says, see you, nigga. Um, no one ever talked to me. Fuck, OG, my bad, man. Green says, yo, thank you, Etika, man. Yo, Green, thank you, nigga. Fuck, just let me know when I'm able to get you fucked up again. Hold on, do I still have this nigga's phone number? I think I still have your phone number, right? Yeah, I still have your phone I think, I, wait, I don't know. I don't know for a fact, but I think I still have your phone number, man. Someone emailed me talking about anal beads. All right, guys, 2014 Etika was shit. 2018 Etika is shit, yes. I'm trying to keep up with the trend. I'm going back to my roots, my boy. Um, good night, Etika. Have a nice nut. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going nut tonight. I'm just going to go to sleep, bro. I'm going to wake up, get some Chipotle, come back to the stream or whatever. Um, Freshly Jazzy says, you finally gave us the benefits that we have been talking about. Yo, Jazzy, man, listen, I, 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 I'm having fun. I meant to stop this early. I meant to stop this like an hour plus ago, but this is really, really cool to me. So, Etika, check your email from Otaku. Yeah, definitely will. Uh, Otaku de noche, de noche. Thank you so much for your contributions earlier tonight, man. Um, from the Nappy Sailor, he says, um, good night. When's the next hentai with Etika? Probably never. Um, Relicify, man. I'll talk to you later on, all right, bro? When you hitting up Philly, my dude? I don't know exactly, but it's kind of like a criteria. It's, it's necessary for me. I've been to, like, the Poconos and Treetops, but I've never been, like, to Philly, Philly, you know? Turn into a hentai reviewer? Well, you got Hermsor for that. All right, man. I'll see you guys later. Really cool stream. Thank you for tuning in. I'm out. Peace out, niggas. I'll see you later on. I don't know when the next stream will be, but uh, yeah, never mind. I don't know when the next stream will be. I'll talk to you later. Peace, niggas. Goodbye. <laughs> Fun stream, though, man. I had a blast with you niggas on this sponsorship. Definitely got to do this more in the future.